cool. Yeah, th thank you for inviting me to this wonderful uh, workshop. It's very interesting to hear about the Arabic language models. So um, we've been training Japanese, uh, well, Japanese and English language models, and I'd like to give an overview about these efforts in Japan. Uh, it's not just one effort. I'm going to be talking about multiple efforts um, in Japan. <clears throat> so uh, for those of you who haven't been following the LLM um, related events in Japan, I'll just give a brief overview about um, the type of models that are being released from uh, each of these companies and institutions in Japan. So um, yeah, it, the major efforts started after ChatGPT was released and um, companies like CyberAgent, Rina released models back in May. Uh, they were like 7B or 3.6B. And then um, NEC Preferred Networks released models in July and August also Matsuo Lab at University of Tokyo released a 10 billion model um, back in August. And then uh, Stability AI Japan released their uh, stable LM Alpha 7B. And then mine releases 3.6B. Eliza released um, their 7B model. Um, uh, Turing was actually working on a vision and language model which is called Heron 7DB. This is uh, one of the bigger ones that was done in Japan. Um, and then Preferred Networks releases their 13 billion model. Um, and Rina released their 7B model, which is continually trained from Llama 2. Um, and around yeah, from this time, like in o uh, October, um, people really started training uh, continually from Llama 2. Well, I guess the one released in late August by Eliza was also uh, continually trained from uh, Llama 2 7B. <clears throat> and yeah, end of October, SoftBank announces their plan to train a 350 billion parameter model by 2024, which I don't know if it's happening or not, but uh, they, yeah, they announced that plan. And then uh, there are a few more models released in November. NTT releases their Tsuzumi 7B. CyberAgent released their second version of their Calm, Open Calm model 7B. And um, the current uh, state of the art or the best Japanese language model um, open source is the Stability AI Japan's um, stable LM beta. Well, actually, they have a smaller gamma model as well. But um, yeah, this beta 70B is currently the larger um, state of the art. And also, beginning of December, Jensen Huang came to Japan, met the prime minister. I don't know what's going to happen, but they are, NVIDIA is um, <clears throat> establishing some research center in Japan. So yeah, something big might be happening there. <clears throat> uh, in terms of computational resources in Japan, um, of course, everyone in Japan is free to use AWS or you know GCP resources overseas, but domestically housed supercomputers and cloud um, services are uh, shown here. So currently Fugaku is the biggest supercomputer in Japan. It's number four on the top 500 list. Um, and but this is not a GPU machine. This is a A64FX. Uh, it's an ARM-based uh, CPU, but there's uh, like 100, 160,000 of them. Um, ABCI is a fairly large GPU uh, machine. It has 4,000 B100s and about 1,000 A100s. Um, and this has been recently being used dedicated for um, LLM training. Um, around 500 A100s uh, were allocated specifically for certain projects and you know just to train one big model. Uh, they use this for <clears throat> a few months. Uh, we, we were one of the people who used this 
dedicated resource. Um, also, at our university at Tokyo Institute of Technology, we are um, going to install the fourth version of Tsubame, uh, which will have about a thousand H100s. And it's planned to start operation next April. Um, Sakura Internet will be installing about 2000 H100s. This starts operation um, hopefully in January, but I don't know, this might be delayed. Um, another, a little bit smaller uh, machine is MDX at University of Tokyo. Um, this one has 320 um, A100s. And this, a third of this machine was also um, used for LLMs. Uh, okay, in terms of benchmarking, uh, we have Japanese benchmarks, uh, similar to the English ones. Um, they're mostly translated um, and the translations are not so good sometimes. So yeah, the, the quality of the benchmarks are not so good. And these benchmarks are not very good for benchmarking large language models to begin with. So uh, please take these results with a grain of salt. But um, as you can see here, the ones with the Japanese flag on them are the ones that were trained in Japan. And of course, their size is still uh, not comparable to the really big ones at the top of this list. So uh, one thing is the size of the model, but it's also the data that uh, we need to improve. As you can see here, the top uh, 10 or nine, I think are not trained in Japan. They're like, you know, things like GPT-4, Stable Beluga, and Claude. Um, the, these are performing much better on the Japanese benchmarks at the moment. Uh, so, um, well, one reason is the ones we are working on are currently not on this list. Um, they, they could be much better if um, we put our, <coughs> our models on this list. But yeah, it, it's still a work in progress. So LLMJP is this large consortium of um, a bunch of different groups from universities, national labs, industries. Um, well, basically anyone that was interested in LLMs just jumped in, jumped on this project. And not everyone is contributing um, equally. Um, there's a few core members that are actually doing the work and we are one of them. Um, we're using Megatron DeepSpeed and training GPT-based models from scratch. Um, parameters sizes are 1.3 and 13B um, and 175B. Um, we use um, flash attention, rope, and BF16. Uh, the kind of Japanese text we train on is, um, this is Wikipedia, MC4, um, more recently, Common Crawl, and the the ones that are shown uh, here, are like JST, JSTAGE, NDL, WARP. NDL is actually the National Diet Library in Japan, which um, houses almost everything that's published in Japan. But that that's used to be in um, like paper form, but um, they've. Uh, store this now in electronic form now. So a lot of this is being released next year um, so that we can train on it. Um, the, the actual raw data is much bigger, but I think after all the filtering and cleaning, um, we're expecting about two T tokens of this. We, we haven't actually used, or um, we, we don't actually have this data yet. The, the, the ones shown in these um, brackets are the ones we plan to use in the future. Uh, in terms of English, we train on Wikipedia, Pile, and Stack, um, <clears throat> and we plan to use um, better data sets in the future, but this is still being prepared. Um, the computational resources that we use are the machines that I showed on the previous slide. Uh, MDX, uh, we got about 600k A100 hours on this. And for ABCI, we have about 900k A100 hours. And so um, starting from the 1.3B and 13B models, 
Uh, the training for these models went smoothly. It's no, not, you know, there's no big spikes. Um, so the data size is, it's, this is half and half, half Japanese and half English. Uh, we have about 270 um, billion tokens of this. And uh, the resource we used was 16 nodes with eight A100s each. Um, and you see this small spike uh, when we start restart from the checkpoint. Uh, this was actually a, um, a bug that we had to fix. Uh, it's fixed now, so we, we don't have this problem now, but while we were training this, we, we found this small bug that was somehow related to the B float um, checkpointing, uh, or rather the, yeah, the checkpointing. Okay, um, the hyperparameters we used are shown here, um, and the parts that are marked in red are the parts we change when we increase the model size. So then going to 175 billion model. So yeah, we actually had to stop the training at around 70 billion tokens, because as you can see here on the right end, um, the loss stopped decreasing. It actually started to increase. And we did a, tried to do everything we could. We restarted with a, you know, like a order of magnitude lower learning rate and it still didn't decrease. Um, and yeah, the, we're still investigating like what, what the cause of this actually was. We didn't see anything like this when we were training the smaller models. Um, but before that, we tried to maximize the uh, throughput while trying to fit this large model on 49 nodes with eight A100s each. So what we did, what we tried is um, data parallel of two, tensor parallel of four, pipeline parallel 49 uh, with different micro batch sizes. Uh, some configurations showed out of memory errors, um, but even under these uh, circumstances, we were able to get about 156 teraflops per GPU. Um, also, we, we use uh, 0, 1, which is uh, sharding the optimizer states for these, along with this 3D parallelism. Um, so on the 49 nodes, we get about 42,000 tokens per second. And yeah, but in the end, so we had to stop the training uh, very early because of this issue uh, we found. So <clears throat> moving on to um, a different approach. So the previous one that I showed with 175 billion parameters is trained from scratch and with like half and half English and Japanese data. Um, this next talk, uh, this next one I'm going to um, show is trained continually from Llama 2. So we, we start from a pre-trained Llama 2 model. Um, and um, yeah, this is done mainly by uh, two research groups at our university, Tokyo Tech. Um, we decided to name our model Swallow because that's, you know, um, included in the logo of our university and also our supercomputer Tsubame means swallow in Japanese. So um, we thought it was <clears throat> a nice name to give to our language model. Um, this picture here is a DALI generated image of swallows playing with a llama in Tokyo. Um, and so we continually train from llama 2 um, with parameter sizes of 7B, 13B, and 70B. Um, for the framework, we actually convert the hugging face, uh, you know, Llama 2 model to Megatron LM for um, performance purposes. And by converting it to Megatron LM, we are able to use 3D parallelism, sequence parallel plus uh, zero one. And some research questions we wanted to answer when we continually train from Llama 2 were, what is the effect of extending the vocabulary? So Japanese is a very different language compared to uh, English. It uses a completely different alphabet and the effectiveness <coughs> or the efficiency of tokens is very different. And so we wanted to um, investigate the effect of extending the vocabulary. Also, 
since Bamatu is already trained on a lot of English text, um, we wanted to investigate um, the optimum ratio between the Japanese and English test when we continually train uh, this Lama 2 model. And also we tried uh, different Japanese uh, corpora, uh, tried to see how much the quality of the Japanese text that we train on actually matters if, if when we're continually training from Lama 2. Um, <clears throat> so I mentioned that we had to convert the checkpoints um, from the Lama 2, which is originally um, stored in a uh, hugging face checkpoint format um, when converting this to Megatron. So there are um, automatic scripts that do this translation, but not all the way <clears throat> back to hugging face. So if you want, if you want to, for example, um, fine tune on the hugging face checkpoints, if you pre-train on Megatron, then you need to change it back to the original hugging face. So it needs to go all the way back and <clears throat> it needs to match when you convert all the way around. And so we tried different things, but some things didn't work. So we had to make our own conversion. <clears throat> um, in the end, uh, this black screen shown <clears throat> at the bottom right shows that um, the uh, group query attention was <clears throat> giving us some error. We had to manually um, write this num key value heads part <clears throat> so that this works. This is in the Lama config. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so um, these are the latest benchmark scores <clears throat> of our swallow model. Um, the tasks that we train on, so we're, we're testing both English scores and Japanese scores. <clears throat> Sorry, for some reason, it's not showing the proper label is the top of this figure seems cut off. <clears throat> okay, may maybe I need to, exp <clears throat> well, maybe it's almost self explanatory, except for the rightmost two columns. <clears throat> the rightmost column is the English scores and the second to the right is the Japanese scores. It's the average of these tasks shown at the top of this slide. Um, <clears throat> so our models are the ones that say swallow in the model name. Um, <clears throat> the ones shown in green are the 7B models. Ones shown in blue are the 13B models. The ones shown in red are the 70B models. <clears throat> and so, so far, I mentioned that the best model in Japanese was the Stability AI Japan's <clears throat> excuse me, um, stable LM base beta 70B. Um, and we were able to surpass their Japanese score. <clears throat> the English benchmarks are still being performed, so we don't have the scores yet. <clears throat> but one, one thing you notice here is the original Lama 2 has a better English score. Um, when we continually train on Japanese, uh, the English score slightly goes down. <clears throat> so it's forgetting a little bit of English, but the Japanese score is increasing a lot. So if our objective is to get the best model that speaks the best Japanese, then this actually works. <clears throat> However, if what we want is a bilingual model um, that doesn't forget the English, we need to do something about this decreasing of the English scores. <clears throat> Okay, well, one last thing. Um, we have some early results with playing on Megatron Deep Speed on H100s. Um, so, <clears throat> when you want to use the transformer engine, which extracts a high performance <clears throat> of the H100s, especially if you want to use FP8. Um, but even without FP8, even if you're doing like uh, BF16, you know, using the transformer engine speeds up uh, a little bit. And um, when you look at the implementation um, shown in this black uh, square here, <clears throat> it actually tries to detect if you're using a GPT model or not. So if you're using a non-GPT model like Llama, um, it's not going to use a transformer engine. Even if you turn on this transformer 
INPL transformer engine option. Um, but uh, even when we test without the transformer engine, we get about 437 teraflops. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and also Megatron LLM, ah, sorry, Megatron LM does support transformer engine, but the default implementation uses an old version. And also <clears throat> distributed optimizer in Megatron LM only supports um, data parallel for powers of two. So <clears throat> yeah, this is a little bit um, of some recent work on H100. Okay, so that concludes my talk. Thank you. <clears throat>